Jaguars top receiver Marquise Lee carded off the field on Saturday. It appears to be a significant knee injury. The Jaguars are blaming the new tackling and helmet rules for the injury, saying it's forcing guys to go low. So Jalen Ramsey said it this way. You can't be mad at number 27, DeMonte Casey, who made the tackle. You have to be mad at the NFL. That is how the rule is. People are scared to tackle normal because I guess they don't want to do helmet to helmet and get flagged. And so here we go. Let's, uh, let's bring it out. Does Ramsey have a point? Is this... Is this the new topic? I mean, it's not only getting, just getting flagged. I mean, there's a nice little FedEx that's going to be at your locker the next day, too, with a f- substantial fine in there. So, guys, it's tough. This tackle rule and this helmet rule is really tricky, and I think the NFL has got to figure out a way to, to call it. And we've had a bunch of calls in the preseason about it already, and I heard, like, somewhere around 25% of them have been taken back. So it's just a matter of the refs and the league getting on the same page with this call. But it's, a tough, it's tough to see Marquise Lee go down with this injury and uh, you just hope it gets better, and you want guys to hit more above the waist, but not in the head. Well, look, I mean, it feels to me there are two separate conversations to be had at the same time. One of them is about whether there are going to be 15-yard penalties that wind up costing a team a game, Mm -hmm. which will be frustrating for fans and frustrating for the team and everything else, but you live with that. The other side of it is an unintended consequence of keeping guys from hitting high is they're going to be hitting low, and I remember... It's got to be 10 years ago or whatever it was these conversations first began. Chris Collinsworth was, was on our set on Mike and Mike, and he said to us, I would rather you hit me in the head than hit me in the knee. And mm-hmm. I think um, you were a receiver. I think every receiver would probably say that. Yes? Absolutely. You'd rather be hit up top than hitting your knees. You're a receiver. You need your legs. You need your knees. You need those things in order to play, obviously. So you'd rather get hit up top than get hit low. So what do you do? All right? uh, because because do we do? have this issue What's with the head middle injuries. Ground? Right. Yeah. And, and, and if you watch players, you know, when they get to be 50 and 60 years old, if you're limping, you can live with that. If you right. are suffering the effects mm-hmm. of multiple concussions, it's a completely different story. So whilst I understand I the frustration, I will still maintain, and I'm open to be talked out of it, I will still maintain, I think, generally speaking, they're doing the right thing. Look, I don't envy the position they find themselves in. I appreciate that they are thinking about it mm-hmm. and trying to figure out a way to make it safer, but you're right, watching that, if you're going to be forced to go low like that, and it's a career-ending injury to somebody's legs, I mean, yeah, sure, long-term trade-off, I guess, but if you ask the guy whose career is ended by it, yeah. I don't think he would tell you he's appreciative of the rule change. It's a weird gray area. Yeah, I understand the rule change. I get what the NFL is trying to do. They're trying to make it safer for everyone, but it's just going to take a couple years before they get it on track. And look, football is the sport of next man up. So mm-hmm. in Jacksonville, the question will immediately come up. There's a fellow by the name of Des Bryant yep. who's out there looking for a job, exactly. and we just lost a receiver. Is that a fit that makes sense? I think it's a great fit for him. Obviously, he's a guy that's been through everything in this league. He understands exactly what it is. But from a skill set position, I think he can offer this team something, maybe situational, green zone, but he's still a big body that can run. And with Leonard Fournette, obviously, you're going to have a ton of one-on-one coverages out there. And I still think Des can be successful in a one-on-one uh, situation. Just got to be more than $5 million. <laughs> That's the one thing we do know about, whatever's about to happen next exactly. for him.